What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon X Randomized Egglock. Previously, we returned after probably a close to a two-week recording break after being the second gym and made our way through route 10? 9? I think it's route 9? Whatever route it is, um, with all the stones. Battled some people, we got a couple of evolutions as well, and we're about to make our way through the Glittering Cave today, and I just realized, if I'm going through the Glittering Cave, I am not going in there without no repels. Just realized that now, I'm not going through there without any repels. Okay, um... Super repels, that's fine. 20, sh 20 should be more than enough to get through there. I'm not sure if I'm going to hatch any eggs in this recording session, just because I'm trying to get some video. I'm just trying to play the game, really. Like, I like I like hatching eggs and whatnot, but seeing as we're playing how we're playing right now, I don't want to say hatching eggs. I don't want to say hatching eggs are going to be a waste of time because the whole that's the whole point of an egg lock is to hatch eggs to get more things to use for your team. <coughs> but um. But yeah, like, I don't want to just constantly feel like, oh, I have to, you know, hatch, hatch eggs. I mean, I do. I, I have a fossil that I have to go back and uncover, but I kind of want to wait until I get access to fly before I do that. All right, so this double battle is um, infamous for being a very, very difficult double battle. Whether randomized or regular, I'm pretty sure when I've done an X Wonderlock of, well, Pokemon X, I think every single Wonderlock that I've done of X and Y, I would have something die in this double battle. Alright, Garboder and Wormadam. Now, Wormadam... I'm not really afraid of it doing much. I'm not really... I'm not really afraid of either of these guys. It's just trying to work around what I can see them doing. Wait, what am I going for? Iron Tail? No. But we're gonna go for Silver Wind because I'm pretty sure that's super effective. Body Slam. Okay, that did a little bit more than I would have liked, but it's fine. Ooh, the Omni Boost. Can't say no to an Omni Boost. Cannot say no to that. Alright, I'm going to... I'm going to Fire Fang this turn, and I'm going to Protect. I think that's the best bet. Oh my god, he ate that. I don't know what you were thinking that was going to do, but the fact that you felt so confident in doing that, I'm just going to, I'm just going to stop you right when, while you're ahead. I think once we have Mon starting to hit like 40, like if we have a couple of Pokemon hit 40 before we actually get to the gym. I'll turn the experience share off. Damn, we're doing no damage to this Garboder. 
Well, it sucks too because like I know I have Earthquake on Deancey, but the thing is is that half my team is weak to Earthquake. So, I mean, I guess I could have came in with Deancey and <laughs> protected with the, the Sligu. Could have done that, but well, it's too little too late now. And it's not like we're in a super stressful situation. Like, we, we went right here. And we're learning Body Slam? Okay. I feel like I need to teach this thing body slam. So I think we are gonna get rid of protect. Luckily, s soon enough, we're gonna be getting to the area where we get the Evia light. So if it's difficult to get him to evolve fully, then it's fine because like we'll have the Eviolite so he'll be much more bulky. And the Eviolite will help him with his physical bulk because I think special defense wise, Sligu is still really, really solid. Yeah, 92. Whereas his physical defense is 51. It's not terrible, it's not good. I'm just glad that we do have some bulk on our team that we can rely on taking some hits. All right. What do we got? Skitty? Tell you the truth, yeah. Okay. Thing is, oh, we can use the dowsing machine in here. Oh, I thought you were able to. It's just you weren't able to use roller skates and the bike. Hmm. Interesting. All right, first encounter in here. <laughs> Am I being picky about my encounters? Yes. Because, of course, when we're playing a randomizer where we don't catch or we don't get to keep the mind is when I'm going to get cracked stuff. So, like I think in the previous episode in one of the routes, we um, encountered a Groudon. And immediately after, we found a swab loop. Delilah, what the hell are you doing? Um, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. All right, so seeing as the Hordes are starting to get a little bit ridiculous. We are gonna go ahead and pop one of these. <coughs> Heliolisk. All right. Mm. You're a tricky one, because you're a stone evo, but I don't know if you're going to have any good moves right now. Oh my god, that did not. I got to thank the man upstairs. I got to thank the man upstairs. I did not think this thing would have anything.
I did not think he would have anything. But he did. He's cross-eyed, apparently. Because, yeah, that would have 100% killed. That would have 100% killed my Frogadier. See, my own... My own ignorance was just gonna be my downfall. Like, I should have banked on the fact, like, okay, it's a stone Evo. There's a chance that he has good moves. Alright, so... Honestly... I think we keep Fire Spin for right now. Get rid of Fire Fang. Tyranitar. Okay. If this is a Mega T-Tar, this is gonna be a problem. I mean, it could still be a problem. Thrash. Oh my god. Luckily, he doesn't outspeed me. Or he's not fast, I should say. So. Holy shit. Almost lost our... <laughs> Greninja. Greninja 8-bit. 8-bit. They should have one. There we go. Mm -hmm. Please just have a good ability. Because you're like the only decent water type, I think, in the box. What other water types came out in this game? Launcher, Anacol. Okay, that doesn't hurt him, but that doesn't help him either. So, like, I'm not upset, but I'm not really, like... I'm indifferent about it, is what I'm basically trying to say. I really should have just put the Mega Evolutions in the game. But the... I suppose the challenge is, can I beat the game with Kalos Pokemon? So, I shouldn't... I shouldn't be like, oh, I should have done this. Because, like... It just sucks, because I think Mega Evolution is so such a cool concept. I'm not getting the chance to really use it. Because it's not really in that many games. It's in what? Three? 
four games. Alright, Probo Pass. I know you got good defenses, but... Okay, that does just over half. Rock Slide, that shouldn't do that much. Yeah, we eat that up pretty well. And a Solosis. I don't get to use Tyson that much, so... Because he's, he's kind of the ace in the team, so he's like... He's kind of in a league on his own sometimes. Right, 36, 37... Like I said, I believe... Karina's ace is 38, so shit. Um. Mm. That'd be great if I could actually, like, keep it. Unfortunately, I cannot. Okay. Baneri. I like Baneri. Thing is, when I played like, Diamond and Pearl for the first time, like, Veneri and Lopunny, I was kind of like, oh, they kind of suck. Even though I caught one early on and wanted to use one on my team. I didn't really care for it. But when it got its Mega Evolution in Oras, I was like, ooh. And then I actually got to use its Mega Evolution, I was like, okay, this is awesome. Because it was like one of those mods where the mega evolution for it actually made it like really good. Kind of like Beedrill. Beedrill has always been a bleh, a bleh bug type, but with its mega evolution giving it like adaptability. I mean, it's fragile as hell, but hits like a truck. Man just screamed battle. Okay, um <laughs> this is why I'm glad I got free try on my move set. And again, don't worry, the game is going to start getting very difficult here soon. We're going to be running into a lot more legendaries. Movesets are going to be a lot better. Mega evolutions. You name it. We're going to start running into a lot of more, a lot more of those. But if we can keep our streak going, I mean, I ain't gonna complain. Won't hear me complaining. My baby, look at him. I love how 3D did you justice. Really did you justice, my good sir. Oh, 
Oh. At least you're not fused. At least you're not fused. Oh my god. Oh, I got a crit. Never mind. I was gonna say. I didn't know we were like that, apparently. Alright, we got a whip stream, even though I think we already got one of those. I'm pretty sure we do learn Hyper Voice by level up, don't we? I'm like 99% sure we do, so... Chimchar and Phantom. Okay. Um, nope, we're not gonna body slam a ghost type because that doesn't make sense. That just does half. That's insane. I can't believe I gave Slurp the wrong nature. Like... <laughs> that's on me, but you know what? It's... Natures do make a difference, but... Not... Not too much of a difference. Isn't there an item down this way? That's why I'm going this way. I know I know the right way to go in here. But I'm just making sure that like I s I, I see everything. Catch that. See you later. Absol. Okay, this could be a mega. But it's not. Alright, level 40. I'm probably gonna take Tyson out of the front now. I honestly don't see us getting many more mods higher than 40 before the gym. Because I mean, Black Star's 37, Rhymestone's 37, Cheese is 37, Aurora's 36. Slurp is 33, but Slurp has been the hardest thing to train on this team the entire playthrough. So, it's not a surprise there. Okay, Fluffy Tail. I know you can get a, a Mega Stone in here, but I don't think you get it until after game. Lovely kiss. Yeah, you don't get the Mega Stone over here until... Until you do the Sundial thing. Which is fine. Again, I'm not going for... I'm not going to play the after game of this. There's no reason for me to. Alright, I think this is the last person in the cave, and then...
We are out. Got through the entirety of the cave in one video. It's exactly why you buy repels. Good shit, Slurp. I don't know if the crit mattered or not. Repardos isn't bulky. But it wasn't st it wasn't stabbed. So it's hard to say. Okay, parabolic charge. Good damage, good damage. Flail. Ooh. Actually, that didn't do that much. That actually didn't do that much. Sand Slash. Hold on. I have too much stuff on my screen right now. Sand Slash, let's go. We haven't seen... We haven't seen Aurora do much in a little while. And maybe that's because I've been trying to keep it in the on the back burner. Because... <coughs> excuse me. Because it's super close to evolving. And again, I don't know if it's going to evolve at 40 or it, if it legitimately has to be nighttime. Because right now it's it's 4.40 p.m. So... I don't think nighttime in this game is going to even start till like 7, 8 o'clock. Rough estimates. Whoa, that frame rate was. That frame rate was nasty. Alright, before we wrap up the video, though, this is a TM guy, right? Ooh. Two of these are good. Two of these are solid. Get rid of that. Um, get rid of that. Do I have... Yes, I do have revive. Because I don't want to go completely broke from this. But I am spending 40k to get two solid... Solid TMs. Are you kidding me? Light of Ruin? Number 28. I don't know what TM28 is off the top of my head. I just hope because I'm pretty sure Light of Ruin is a fairy type move. I'm just hoping the Dene can learn it. Yes! Whoa! Light of Ruin on Greninja Empire? Okay, okay. Do I get rid of ear? I think I gotta get rid of Eerie Impulse now. Like, I, I feel like I have to. Like, it was helpful for when we had it, right? I mean, I guess I could have gotten rid of Thunder Wave. That would have been good as well, but. We get a fire spin for this? This is insane. And this, again, 
going back to doing Pokemon Emerald, our TMs were horrible in that game. But this game, our TM, like I'm looking at our TMs in this game, and they're so good. So good. All right, Oblivion Wing. Might low-key get rid of nature power. And then for Deancy, I don't think I'm gonna teach Deancy. All right, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button down below because it'd be greatly appreciated. Next time, we're gonna be doing the rival battle in the tower. I don't know why I couldn't get that wordage out. Um, but we're going to do the rival battle up in the tower, and then we should actually be able to do the gym in the next episode as well. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure you click the subscribe button and uh, the bell icon as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.